block right here. This what y'all wanted me in Chicago. This old block right here. I should call this shit no block. It's 10 o'clock. Where the fuck y'all niggas at? Niggas ain't outside. It's only 10 p.m. Where the fuck y'all niggas at, blood? No block right here. This what y'all wanted me in Chicago. This old block right here. I should call this shit no block. It's 10 o'clock. Where the fuck y'all niggas at? Niggas ain't outside. It's only 10 p.m. Where the fuck y'all niggas at, blood? Hey, welcome to Toast. Thoughts of a Stoner TV, the best damn YouTube channel there is. And oh my fucking God. I can't listen. Bruh, the 6ix9ine really just land in, in, in Chicago, okay? And, and then and then Chief Keith and Lil Reese called his bluff, and this nigga really pulled up to O Block? Is this nigga really in the 60s? Okay, look. The trash can behind him clearly says 66 something. So he's on the six. He's in the 60s, okay? He's in Chicago and he's around Lamron, bro. He gotta be. He has to be. Now, there see it it, it it seems to be a ghost town where he's at. And he's like he said, it's only about 10 o'clock. Listen, there, there's listen. There can't be no way that there are no niggas in the vicinity of 69. I don't believe it. This is the south side of Chicago at 10 p.m. It is a Tuesday night, but niggas don't give a fuck. Every day is like a Friday to a, a nigga, right? No job, you know, you don't give a fuck, no school, right? You're hustling. Every day is a Friday to you, right? You don't, you have, you have no boundaries. You have no limits to what you're doing. Now, a nigga like me, I'm tired as fuck, okay? I just work from, you know, eight to five something. All right, now it, it is now about nine something. I had to take care of some shit when I got home. Listen, I'm a regular ass nigga. I came home, I had to do some shit. All right, and now I'm just now getting to, um around to being able to record, and it's 12 o'clock to some people. If you on the East Coast listening to this video, it'll be about 12, one o'clock before you listen to this shit, okay? Or till it's available for you to listen to. Now, niggas in the South Side of Chicago, they don't have those type of problems, okay? All they gotta do is worry about the fucking ops catching them lacking. They don't even gotta worry about the police, bro. The police are non-existent down there, right? I mean, unless 6 9 is down there, okay? Which is, that's the case now. I mean, that's what is trying to be painted by the Chicago Savages, Lil Reese, Chief Keith. They saying he's only been in Chicago because he's been riding around with the police. Now, I did see a video and it did have 6 9 like he was getting inside of a black uh, suburban or some shit. And I don't know about that, but I, I listen, I don't think police are going to be escorting this nigga down the whole block. All right. Them niggas care about them, their own well-being too much to just be going down to O block to be with a fucking rainbow haired Mexican. I don't, I don't think that's happening. All right. So Chief Reese, uh, the, and by the way, man. Chicago niggas, bro. Y'all niggas is going out bad, bro. Let me tell you how. Y'all leaders are getting embarrassed online. And I'm not trying to take up for this nigga 6 9 but god damn it, bro. What else can I do? I mean, bro, I'm looking at what's going on. All right, now, I see 6 9 He's in Chicago. He landed at the airport. No one took it seriously, right? He's downtown Chicago. No one took it seriously. They tried to say he's with the police. Now he's in the hood. Okay, Chicago niggas going all bad, so y'all leaders are getting their fucking hood invaded by the rainbow hair Mexican, which is 6ix9ine. Then you got other Chicago leaders like FBG Duck, who just now getting on with a with, with a huge hit. Slot, why are you on FaceTime or IG Live, whatever, with 6ix9ine? It's like you Chicago niggas are the definition of strung out on clout. Okay, y'all let me know what y'all think about this 6 9 bro. He pulled up in enemy territory, and I mean, I don't know what was on the other side of the camera. I don't know if, how many police were there. I don't know if there was a camera crew. Hell, I don't know if the goddamn Chicago Savages he's been provoking were on the other side of that goddamn camera with a handful of stacks because 6 9 wanted to pull up and make a video. Uh, listen, I don't know. I do not know. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. I am lost for words, bro, okay? Hey, I'm gone.